What has to happen is somebody else has to verify it, preferably a competitor, preferably someone who doesn't want you to be correct, <laughs> such as my waiter. He went out to prove me wrong and got the same result that I had declared. We can call that the beginnings of an emergent truth about whipped cream. <laughs> now we need someone to do it in Asia and in Europe. And, 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 and then you get a trend and you can then declare that a consensus of observation and experiments has emerged in the scientific community whipped cream floats on hot chocolate. And that waiter today is getting a PhD in buoyancy. <laughs> uh, let me go on to, uh, to a question that came up later in the book. Uh, just how voidy is the void of space? Like, so it looks pretty empty out there between galaxies, just a lot of black, you know, it seems anyway. Uh, if you stepped into intergalactic space, by the way, what might happen to you? You would die. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, <laughs> But you might see stuff, and this is the list. Well, I don't, I had never heard of any of these things. Dwarf galaxies, runaway stars, faint blue galaxies, uh, hot clouds that emit. Actually, let me just ask you about some of them. What is a dwarf galaxy? It's a little galaxy. Well, that I figured. <laughs> Didn't we go through this already? Our words mean what they say? <laughs> have, have, but, but. We're past that already. Where, what, there are galaxies that you see, the ones the Magellan saw, smudges in the sky. Those are huge things. No, well, we, they're, they're dwarf galaxies. Those are dwarf galaxies? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. They're like a hundredth the size of our galaxy. So how many dwarf? Uh, they how, far outnumber big galaxies. They do. Yeah, so maybe we shouldn't be calling them dwarfs because they're the common size galaxy. We should just be called giants, perhaps. Giants, galaxy. And they call them regular. Was the, were the, uh, right? That's how that works, right? What is the difference? Right? How many sense? stars are in a galaxy galaxy? Our galaxy has several hundred billion stars. And in a dwarf galaxy? Um, at most, a billion, but more typically hundreds of millions. These are small numbers compared to full-up red-bloody galaxies. So tiny are dwarf galaxies, and we tend to find them in the vicinity of big galaxies, but you know what happens? You know, they orbit the big galaxy, but their orbits are not stable, and they do a death spiral in, oh. and they get eaten by the larger galaxy. And we have a term for that. It's called galactic cannibalism. 